Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Scott Barrett, Senior Fantasy Football Analyst at Pro Football Focus. Today I wanted to talk about signature stats, specifically at the running back position. You get this with a PFF Elite subscription. Highly worth it. Amazing value. Uh, really the best stats of the industry and a lot of things that I use uh, for my own rankings and uh, different stats you see me putting out on Twitter. So yeah, let's get started. We're at the Pro Football Focus uh, main website. You see news and analysis, featured articles. Go to my account, subscriptions. <clears throat> you see signature stats right there. Get that with the PFF Elite membership. Click on that. <clears throat> And here's all of our signature stats. And look at all these awesome different positions. We have we have really cool stats on centers, uh, linebackers. Few sites really come close to us. The level of detail, accuracy. Uh, let's check out running backs, though. I think that's the one that, that might be most exciting for you guys right now. One thing we look at is elusive rating, which is our, our own metric that looks at things in terms of missed tackles force per touch, yards after contact per attempt. So really, it shows us how much of a running back's production is just him with the ball in his hands, rather than we see a really good offensive line just blocking really well, opening these large holes. So it's it's how effective the running back was on his own. And Jay Ajayi, man, really, really last year blew away all other running backs uh, his offensive line was only mediocre to, to poor, and he really rose above it. Uh, crazy yards after contact numbers uh, led in that category, led in missed tackles per rush. And so that's what we're seeing here. It's on this first tab that we could look at these in a little bit. But we could filter by weeks. If you want the playoffs included, you just start clicking on these. Or if you want to only look at the first half, you could just click out of all these. Uh, we can look at other filters. Right now we have it all running backs with at least 50% of their team's carries. Let's move that down to 25%. See if that changes things. Jalen Richard now leading in yards after contact per attempt, but not much else changes. It leads in uh, elusive rating, but again, it was on a much smaller sample. Uh, you could filter by year. Uh, was the guy a rookie? Was he in his first year? Division? Team? But uh, this is good for us right now. Let's export that to CSV and see what we can come up with. This is what I do a lot of times. So you see right here, nice and pretty. Let's look at... Let's look at guys in terms of missed tackles per touch. So what I do here is missed tackles total, and then just touches. Let me just have fun playing around with this. Let's see, rush tackles avoided, and then receiving tackles avoided. That's the same thing, missed tackles forced. And then just total touches. So divide this. Uh, oh no, hold on. And that's receptions and carries. And then missed tackles per touch. And let's filter by, let's say 150 touches. So this one's kind of a surprise. Jonathan Stewart came in right behind Ajayi, Rob Kelly, who a lot a lot of people are discounting and discrediting this year. Uh, they think the rookie's coming in and, and supplanting him for the job. Not so sure about that. He was surprisingly a really really elusive running back last season. LeSean McCoy should be too much of a surprise. Uh, you'll notice TJ Yeldon is kind of skews somewhat uh, in his favor. Most of his came as a receiver. So yeah, really interesting stuff. Frank Gore at the bottom, Rashad Jennings, Tim Hightower, Ryan Matthews, Matt Forte, Devontae Booker. None of that should be too surprising. 
So yeah, that's elusive rating. Breakaway percentage, we could do the same thing. It just looks at each running back uh, and, and what percentage of their yardage came on big plays or how many big plays they had, and that's runs of 15 or more yards. Uh, this is a fun one. Yards per route run. Who were the best or most efficient receivers on a per route basis last year? James White came in really high. Um, Duke Johnson, David Johnson. Let's export this and, and see if we can find something uh, interesting as well. So you filter this. Now uh, let's look at each running back by total routes. David Johnson ran 509 routes last season. Second closest, didn't even break 400. That's remarkable. DeMarco Murray, third. Todd Gurley may be a bit of a surprise. Came in at fourth. Um, Benny Cunningham did have some injuries last year. Uh, so maybe he, he made up a lot of that in those games. Not too sure. Bilal Powell, Darren Sproles, Chris Thompson, really just third down guys. Uh, a cool thing that I've done is, uh, you know, I'll just uh, have uh, using our fantasy stats which has each player and how many games they played. I'll run a quick V lookup, pull that up, and then divide passing routes per game. And when we do that, Le'Veon Bell actually ran more routes run per game last year than Julio Jones and Jarvis Landry. I think that's like one of the coolest stats I, I found uh, all season. Drop rate, that's another big one. Let's filter again for smaller target thresholds. And Lamar Miller, 36 targets, 31 were catchable. Zero drops, good on him. Uh, but let's see who was not great uh, in the, the drop department. Jordan Howard, 21.6, next closest, 13.8. Wow, that's not good. Yeah, maybe, maybe, that's, uh, maybe we should uh, be a little skeptical that his volume as a receiver increases or, or even remains stagnant following the offseason additions of Tariq Cohen, Benny Cunningham, or was it Lance Dunbar? Uh, who just signed with the, the Bears? Um, yeah, Dunbar's on the ramp. So as Cunningham went to the Bears, as did uh, Tariq Cohen, who's kind of fairly capable in that department. When we look at pass blocking efficiency, uh, this one matters a lot more than I think a lot of people think it does. Let's look at guys who really struggled last season. Kenneth Dixon, so, you know, he's probably going to miss the whole season anyway, but this could have been a reason for us to be a little more on Terrence West or Danny Woodhead. It's just he really struggled as a pass blocker last season. Jeremy Hill struggled. Um Guys were really good. Maybe we shouldn't worry too much about. Derrick Henry, that's kind of surprising just because he really struggled as a pass blocker his final two seasons in college. He was one of the worst. But um, he did it right here on a, on a fairly small sample. DeMarco Murray had a ton of pass blocking snaps. Led all running backs. Um, TJ Yeldon, maybe that's a sign that Leonard Fournette uh, is going to be used extensively. In, on third downs because TJ Yeldon uh, was used a lot last season, but was he good? Not really, not particularly. A little below average. So these are just a bunch of the different things that we offer through Signature Stats, and this is just one position of many, and I use uh, pretty much all of these uh, throughout the course of a season when I'm writing articles, when I'm doing research, when I'm making rankings. Uh, like these a lot, again, uh, just a, a small sample of, of what you get with a PFF Elite subscription. Again, I highly recommend uh, purchasing that. And if you ever have any questions regarding what we went over here today, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter at Scott Barrett DFB. Uh, always willing to help out and, and give some tips and, and let you guys know how I use these stats. Uh, but I think that's it for this one. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, take care.